I hope you guys are ready, because we're about to go to the magical years of my childhood. The 90s and early 2000s. You know, something actually doesn't feel right. One second. <sighs> Alright, now I'm ready for this radical journey. I'm a 31 year old in a dinosaur onesie. I, I think I need to do some really hard thinking about my life. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of that Cyber Channel. And you want to know what I miss? I miss the fine art of desperately attempting to appeal to the youth you no longer understand. And yeah, sure, I am rapidly approaching that age. That's it. Time is a cruel mistress. Game commercials are pretty straightforward for the most part these days. Show some action-packed gameplay, add a few dramatic lines, and slam to the title. Pretty much every gaming company these days has it down. Like an assassin. What? He can fly? All right, maybe every game company except the mobile game industry has it. But not every game company had it down to a science. Journey back with me to the wonderful decades of the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Back when people didn't know how to get people excited about a video game. Some knocked it out of the park, such as the Super Smash 64 commercial. But most of the time, things just got weird. weird. Today, I'm going to be taking you on an adventure into weird gaming commercials. We're going to be going from most tame to completely what the actual F! So buckle up. I'm smiling, but I assure you my mental breakdown is just around the corner. Hey, little buddy, want a ride? Ah, now this one is a classic. I remember this one along with a few others like it. And at the time, I thought they were hilarious. Now, now I'm not so sure. Yeah, whatever. Well, I mean, that's rude. He's just trying to get to work. That poor Pikachu has to support a family of three Pichus and a Plusle, and you can't even say hi or listen to his story for a minute. Pokebus one star. I'll be right back. Our stop. No, bus man. Where can you catch all 150 Pokemon? Yeah, yeah. He just murdered all those Pokemon. 150 Pokemon murdered, and we just saw that. Shit, we're witnesses. I'm not gonna testify against that guy. Wonder if he puts me in the crusher. Yeah, yeah. On your Game Boy, that's where. Oh, they're fine. They're just a, a Game Boy now. You know how much those buses are, man? You just threw away your job, and now you're looking at charges for destruction of city property. Enjoy your 60 hours of mindless grinding before your three years of prison and $10,000 fine. Yeah, I looked that up. It's called research. Hey! Yeah? You look like a real jerk. Well, I am a corporate executive. I love it. This dad's just going for a leisurely stroll and this disembodied voice just goes hard after the guy. So what you doing? Well, Muffy Buffy Biff Jr. and I are going on our Sunday drive. People with glasses don't... Damn it. Oh no you ain't. You're gonna play pole position! This commercial goes from zero to freaking awesome so fast. The Duffies, I'm calling them that because clearly Muffy Duffy is an objectively funny name, are thrust into a Formula One race where people fly through billboards. You know, like a normal F1 race. Also, it has its own theme song. <laughs> I mean, this is it. Not that intense. This commercial is so perfectly weird. I want to play pole position. Hold on, I'm gonna go find some people to play with. We post new videos every two- Hey! What, what do you want, Dan? You look like a real jerk! Well then, I'm just gonna go ahead and finally block you. 
How to get people to like Hey! Oh, oh hey there. <laughs> you look like a real jerk. Oh. Okay, um. Well, I guess I'm gonna go back to work then. Fight through the tears, Mark. Fight through the tears. Hey! Yes? You look like a real jerk. Well, I do torture you with as many puns as possible, so I had it coming. Okay, I'll... Oh! Oh, oh, what you doing? Oh, you know, just staring through the white abyss on my wall. No, you ain't. You're gonna play pole position! Ooh, great! I put my pole in a vertical position! I... God damn it. Don't you mean God damn it? <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this next one. This next one is peak 90s game commercial. In Japan. Roll it! Zelda's is a cage dancer, I guess, but we're okay with it! And she's out of sync, but I guess we're okay with that too. You're out of shape. I'm not out of shape. You're out of shape. Uh, I'm getting too old for this shit. Now that wasn't the only time that Nintendo used dance to sell a Zelda game. However, this one takes a bit more creative liberty. Watch Zelda become a legend on your Nintendo Entertainment System. That's not Zelda. That's a middle-aged theater degree. Zelda! What the hell are you doing? Good times. Stop it! Pee 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 hands! I said stop! You're embarrassing yourself! Leavers! Why couldn't you have been a lawyer like your sister? Zelda! 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 The Legend of Zelda. I have no son. What is happening? I mean, they got my attention, but what is the setup here? Are they trapped? Are they in an experiment? Do they need help? 911? Yeah, I'm watching the most awkward hookup ever. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, I, I won't call again for a cutaway gag. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, sorry, sir. I need to be less authentic with my jokes. And going straight for the chest. Classy. Why'd you go straight for the chest? You've got one night to save Mario from the supernatural. What hell have you wrought? Luigi's Mansion. Only for Nintendo GameCube. Oh, she was a GameCube the entire time. Wait, are all girls GameCubes? Alyssa, are you a GameCube? As a matter of fact, I'm an N64. Oh, right. Looking at the controllers, that explains the weirdness factor. Excuse me? Nothing. No more Mario 64 for you. Shit. We are Nintendo Ultimate TV Game System. Yeah, okay. We challenge all players. Yeah, okay. You yeah, okay. You're significantly more nightmare fuel than normal, duck hunt dog. Even with your robot partner, you cannot be us. What even are you? You look like what happens when a platypus f the Lego. So one million. You cannot beat us. That's not a Lakitu. That's a bird. And clouds don't talk. I call foul! That is literally the scariest Bowser has ever been. We are Nintendo. We can for this. You cannot beat us. 
For the early 90s, that's pretty freaking terrifying. But it's really not all that bad. We all know there's only one 3D model that is the ultimate nightmare. Okay, fair warning. If you have a problem with eyeballs and the touching of eyeballs, then skip to this time code right here. We all good? All right, let's do this. Say that to Valkyrie. Does he design the games? No, he executes them. All right, calm down early 2000s edgelords. It just means he plays the game. Let's not make this a bigger deal than it is. Look at how hard they're trying to be edgy here. It's like the marketing director just watched The Matrix and wouldn't shut up about it. We get it, Frank. We're all batteries. Now shut up and let me scar children for the rest of their lives. No, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna touch that. Wait. Don't. Oh, why? God! Good lord, dude! I didn't realize that early VR prototypes were so brutal! Alright, PlayStation VR prototype. Let's give this- oh, 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 oh. So the rest of the commercial is discount Neo over here working on his game by seeing through the eyes of an actual driver he's controlling. Which is kind of messed up because he forces him to crash. Oh, and they crash the Sega Saturn too. Suddenly we're in a hospital where our shitty protagonist says, Reality always hurts. Yeah, no duh. It's called a nervous system and it has pain receptors so we don't do irreversible damage to our bodies. Also, you were the one that made him crash, so you, maybe. <laughs> Sega Saturn had a handful of other just weirdly bizarre commercials. But in Japan, the sun was rising on the champion we all needed. Look at these fools, off to play real sports. Don't they know there's a Sega Saturn? They just wanted to play baseball and he destroys them. Destroys them! It's beautiful. Ah. Maybe they should have just went and played baseball. There is a whole epic storyline to Sagata Senshiro. I highly recommend you check it out if you have the time. If you want us to cover more of these later, slam that like button and hit the eye in the corner to let me know. Maybe subscribe and hit the bell while you're down there. Do it, or Sagata will. All right, my ears are bleeding. You have my attention. Why is this girl in space? Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, your your head's your head's kind of off. Okay, better. Not better. Welcome to the third place. PlayStation Two, the third place. Yeah, no, I'm sold. Hook me up with a PlayStation Two. It was really the duck that sold me on it. Now for you film and TV buffs, you have probably caught on to a certain director's style. This particular commercial was directed by David Lynch that was shown in theaters across the world. Except for the US, we were not ready for this. Now that was weird, but in like an art house film sort of way. Uh, matter of fact, a lot of these are just weird and that's it. This last one. This last one is the essence of WTF. Got it. 
doused. I'm sorry, but when the bird starts freaking out, you know it's bad. Don't, don't do it, Todd. I'm, I'm calling him Todd because he's clearly a Todd. Don't, don't do it, Todd. <laughs> don't you love how actors show how well versed they are at playing the video game entertainment systems? <laughs> Todd, you've got to listen to the bird. <laughs> Todd, why don't you ever listen? It's a joust! Hawk, we had them all rigged with explosives. Are you not amused? From the kingdom of Atari comes Super Pointy End. It's at this point that Todd started to realize that his insurance probably isn't going to cover all this. Holy crap! The battle was so intense, it turned the bird into rotisserie chicken! It was at that moment that Todd clearly said, F*** it, I'm in this now. Todd, you just got a joust, buddy. You can become a joust knight, dude. Atari presents Joust, the video game where buzzard men. Todd, don't. That's your joust, buddy. Battle ostrich men. God damn it, Todd, you idiot. The graphics go beyond your wildest dreams. I wasn't ready. Todd, you fool! I don't get it, Todd. What possessed you to eat the egg that clearly didn't fit in your mouth? Todd's a dumb. Simple as that. Todd's a dumb. I gotta say, though, for a game that looks like this... This... Really makes me want to play Joust. I got it, Buttons! Joust! Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, hey, man. I was just playing some Joust. What are you doing here? Whenever anyone plays Joust, I appear. Oh, but what about all the knights and everything? Budget cuts. Oh, that makes sense. But we bring nachos now. Oh, hell. Don't mind if I do. Where you go? Hello, Bob. Hey, Bob, it's good to see you. <laughs> hey, before you go, Thanks for watching! A huge thanks to Alyssa B. Crazy, Bob Wolf of the Wolf Den, AJ M. Parker from Fanatics 4, and Blade Blur for absolutely crushing it this video. Links to all their channels in the description down below. I'd also like to thank my patrons, Elizabeth Mello, and all of these people you see on screen. If you want to see more videos and better videos, slap that join button to become part of the Cybernaut Elite. You'll get some emotes, early access to videos, and access to our exclusive channel on Discord. Of course, at the very least you can do is hit that subscribe button. Button, share this on the socials, and until next time, cybered out.